2017 will see FSA debut not only its first complete group set, but also a part wireless electronic one at that. It's an 11 speed system which communicates via ANT Plus wireless technology, making it compatible with Garmin and other cycling computer companies. There's the option of two different sized shifters to suit different sized hands, and the brake levers have adjustable reach for better ergonomics. The battery sits inside your bike's seat post and a single wire runs to the front derailleur and control box. It then reaches the rear derailleur via the chainstay. FSA claim the battery will have a runtime of between 4,000 and 6,000 kilometers. Shimano's power meter has been a long time coming, but it has us excited due to the company being a benchmark for product reliability. It also means there will finally be a power meter that allows you to run a full Shimano group set instead of replacing parts with the cranks or chain rings of other power meter companies. It also measures both left and right leg power, which is more accurate and helpful when studying pedaling dynamics compared to single-sided meters. The spindle houses a battery and a wire connects the two meters. A cadence sensor can be attached to the frame by a magnet. Importantly, it supposedly weighs only 70 grams more than a standard crank set, making it one of the lightest power meters on the market. German wheelmaker Lightweight is usually known for its handcrafted wheels, but the Wegweiser model shown here signposts a new direction for the company. A filament winding machine now manufactures the carbon rim in one piece, with the spokes then glued to the rim via the triangles you can see around the spoke holes. Results are a stronger, more reliable wheel. The Wegweiser wheels are available in both disc and rim brake version and are 24mm wide, a response to customers wanting to run wider tyres. These are Giro's seriously lightweight shoes, coming in at 138 grams for a size 8.5. The featherweight nature of the shoe is due to a new carbon sole design that drops weight without losing stiffness. You can expect these to be floating into stores in April 2017. Shimano's new Jaw Race hydraulic disc brakes represent a welcome update. For starters, the levers are smaller, providing far more comfortable reach, a gripe we had with Shimano's previous hydraulic brakes. They've also improved the heat dissipation of the rotors, so you're far less likely to cook them on big mountain descents. More importantly though, these could represent truly race-worthy disc brakes, thanks to their weight. The Dura Race model represents a significant weight saving over Shimano's previous hydraulic systems. The new group set comes in at 2,389 grams, only 338 grams more than the new rim brake equipped Dura Race 9150.